know what I'm saying? Once you give, um, give them something for free one time, they'll never want to pay for anything after that ever again. You know it, what I mean? And that's like the biggest problem I have with it. You know what I mean? And that's that's it. That's it right there, man. And that's what I said. Like, and David Banner said that in his interview. He said, "What if Jay Z had to gave his second album away for free?" Do you know the power of what that man said? Because Jay Z didn't blow up until his second album. You understand what I'm saying? That's when he got rich. That's that motherfucker that went platinum. He said, "What if he had to gave it away for free?" That's the big fucking. That's the big difference. You know what I'm saying? The niggas who could be the Jay-Z's or the next T.I.'s or the Jeezy's, they won't even know it because they dumbass giving their shit away for free. Yeah. Real shit. They trying to follow Lil Wayne. They jumping on the Wayne train. I'm glad he said that. Everything, I feel like niggas be trying to imitate Wayne. No, I'm just called the Wayne train. So they tried to jump on the Wayne train in the mistake game because that's how he say his career. Wayne had enough money to do the Wayne train. He could have did a million mixtapes and gave shit away for free. Everybody. For real. To everybody. But niggas who trying to become household names and superstars or the man in their community hood, whatever. Whatever goal they trying to reach, they ain't gonna get that giving it away for free. You know what I'm saying? A sampler is cool. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's nothing wrong with giving a single away for free or a sampler or a snippet. You know what I'm saying? And you just giving them a taste. It's like you going to the supermarket and you and you know, you go into a grocery store and the lady got the little toothpick. You know what I'm saying? She like try the chicken. Or or, or the same thing when you in the mall and they got the little food food court in the mall and they got the sample. Shit, it's been times where I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to eat until I tried that little sample. I'm like, alright, cool, give me this right here. So right here. Yeah, they they not even giving people a chance to pick what the fuck they like no more. That's what the fuck is wrong with music right now. They not giving yeah. people a chance to pick what they want. Yeah, they telling us what we supposed to like. Yeah, and, and just throwing it out there here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know, it's all about the way they're marketing it. You know what I mean? The, the college courses, they done took and everything. They taught them how to market to us where... We almost can't say no once they say shove it to us. You know what I mean? Like, Walmart, like I, like I, for example, Walmart is probably the king of that shit. Cause you know, I don't know about you, but I know every time I go into Walmart, I go in for like some toilet paper or something, boy, and I come up, I come out with a whole cart full of shit. You know what I mean? Because I'm so, I'm being marketed to so much. You know what I'm saying by the store, and they got it set up where if you want soap, you got to go on one side of the store. But then if you want detergent or something like that, your cleaning products, you gotta go over by the food to get it. So now that you already walk there, you don't have to walk past electronics, home and hell, beauty, you know, all that shit. And finally you get that, then you're so close to the food, you're like, you know what, let me just go over here real quick and see. You know what I mean? And you don't even realize why you're doing it. By the time you're done, you don't spend like 30 when you was only supposed to spend like five. I'm going to tell you something. That's that's a fact because I'm going every time I stop at a gas station, I buy a beverage. I've never stopped yeah. at a gas station and not bought a bottle of water, a Gatorade, or a soda or some shit. R nigga, yeah. never. I've never. Every time I walk into a gas station, the freezer, the cooler looks so fucking good. It's just like, man. Just, man, you need to go get some coal up out there, motherfucker. You hear me? And I be on the way every time. Shit. 